Hi guys, my name is Dan and today we will be unboxing this affordable 4K TV from Xiaomi and then afterwards I'm going to be showcasing its features for you guys. So without further ado, let's get unboxing. Okay, so far towards the unboxing, ang na kikita natin is yung stand ng TV and then yung paperwork ng TV. So, so, so yung remote. User manual. Ano ba? Some specifications ng display. Uh, more paperwork. And then, ito yung cable no ano TV for the power. And some screws. Siguro for mounting or for the stand. So that's the unboxing guys. So wow. First impression ang sexy ng display na to. And considering yung price niya when we got this from uh, Black Friday, uh, $29,999, $30K. Uh, <laughs> this looks much more expensive than that. I know yung regular price niya nasa ano pa nga, nasa $40. Pero because of the sale, yeah, we got this uh, nice piece of hardware for really cheap. Uh, this is actually cheaper than the LG monitor that we're going to replace it with. Fun story, um, the reason why we we went online looking for a TV because the you know, LG display namin sa baba ay nasisira na. Yung backlight niya nag-breakdown na, na. And so the pictures appear darker. So I'll, I'll give you guys a... Um, a, a picture of what it looks like so may idea on how bad it actually looks now hopefully this will be a great replacement for that and that TV downstairs is actually two times more expensive than this one so I'd be surprised if this can perform much better for less so ito yung luma namin LG TV na pinalitan ng Xiaomi TV 4S as you can see yung backlight niya medyo namamatay na may kita mo sa banda gitna um, dim na yung backlight. konti konti na sila na and it gives off a bluish tint. kaya hindi na maganda, hindi na pleasant panuorin pag lao na sa gabi. wala ka na alus makita. kahit kahit sa garin na namin yung brightness, um, dim pa rin talaga nung image. so is set up ko na to sa baba and I'll see you guys there. So na guys, finally na setup na natin yung TV sa living room namin. Bago ko ipakita yung mga features ito sa inyo, tanggalin muna natin yung uh, screen protector ng TV na ito. Okay.
So guys, ito yung uh, remote control ng Xiaomi TV 4S, 65-inch version. And ito yung mga features niya. Um, ito yung Google Assistant button. As pag pinindot natin yan, lalabas yung Google Assistant sa baba ng display. Ito naman yung Netflix shortcut and Amazon Prime Video shortcut. On the bottom of the remote, ito yung Xiaomi TV Home. Ito yung home uh, menu niya pag pinindot mo. Wait, back natin. Yan, yan yung makikita nyo pag pinindot nyo yung Mi button. Ito naman yung Android TV. Pag pinindot mo yan, yan. Personally, no, I think mas maganda tong gamitin kaysa yung sa <laughs> Xiaomi uh, Home TV. And nandito na lahat eh, oh. Netflix, Amazon Prime. Um, you have to log in your Netflix account ah, and your um, Google account para magamit mo ng gusto yung um, Google Assistant. So, test naman natin kung ano yung tura ng um, image quality. No? Let's play a sample video. Ito yung gusto ko sa Google Assistant eh. Compared sa mga ibang voice assistant ng mga TV brands, napaka-accurate niya. So, di ba, mag-aanap tayo ng video para matest yung colors, makita natin kung gano'ng kaganda yung image quality. Mag-aanap tayo using Google Assistant. Colorful 4K videos. Saka ang bilis, ang bilis guys, kasi may processor built-in dito sa TV na to. So, um, ang bilis niya maglabas ng mga search results. Compared sa previous LG TV namin, ang tagal eh. So yeah, pili tayo. You know, ang isang, isang bagay lang na that I was sad to find out na hindi pala siya OLED. Pero, for a non-OLED display, ang ganda nung image quality niya. Of course, hindi siya as contrasty as uh, OLED display, pero for the money that you're paying for this, you're getting a lot. You're getting a really smart TV for the price. And also, te testin natin yung um, Chrome, Chromecast na built-in dito. Hindi nyo na kailangan bumili ng Chromecast dongle, guys. You could just connect your phone directly to the TV. And compared to other smart TVs na walang built-in na Chromecast, Ang bilis sa seamless yung connection. Okay naman yung dynamic range niya. Um, medyo parang nasa cool side yung picture. And yung saturation niya, sakto lang. Again, you know, it's no OLED, but very good quality for the price. Testing naman natin yung uh, built-in Chromecast. So, paano natin mapapagana yung built-in Chromecast feature ng TV na to? All we have to do is go to uh, the Xiaomi Home. Um, also called Patch Wall. And then navigate to Google Play Store. Wait. And then My Apps. Tapos yan, no? nakita mo. Chromecast built in. Kailangan mo na natin i-update kasi first time pa lang namin gagamitin to. Tapos guys, once updated na yung mga apps natin, and for example, yung Chromecast built-in app, uh, make sure i-connect nyo lang yung cellphone nyo na i-cast nyo sa TV on the same network kung saan na ako yung TV natin. So, let's test it out. Once ako connect nyo sa natin on the same network as our Xiaomi TV 4S, all you have to do is pull down the drop-down menu and then select Screencast. Tapos, usually it would take a few moments then lalabas yung TV on the menu. Then, ayun. So as you can see, naka-display na yung cell phone natin on the TV without a uh, Chromecast dongle. It's really convenient. You can even play um, music and videos. Tapos si, ano mo lang? Enable mo lang yung auto-rotate para mag-full screen.
once na connect na yung cellphone natin sa Once na connect na yung cellphone natin the same network as our Xiaomi TV 4S all you have to do is pull down the drop down menu and then select screencast tapos usually it would take a few moments then lalabas yung TV on the menu then ayun so as you can see naka-display na yung cellphone natin on the TV without a uh, Chromecast dongle it's really convenient you can even play um, music and videos tapos si ano mo lang enable mo lang yung auto rotate para mag full screen So let's wrap this up. Ang masasabi ko na sa Xiaomi TV 4S is it's a lot of bang for your buck. Um, it's already affordable at 35k and my dad was able to get it much cheaper at 30k. And with the built-in Chromecast feature and the Google Voice Assistant, you're getting a lot for your money. For me, that the Google Voice Assistant alone is already a big difference eh, compared to our previous smart TV from LG. So that's about it. If you guys enjoyed this unboxing, I would appreciate it if you would like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Also, turn on the bell notification icon so you would be notified of my future uploads. You can also follow me on Twitter, IG, and TikTok for more updates. Thank you for watching. Bye.